Hello everyone and uh, welcome to grade 10 topic 1 mechanics right the follow on we're still busy with this topic and uh, for the purpose of this video we are going to be looking at distance and displacement all right hope you enjoy the video all right so first let us uh, discover or let us denote the difference between the two all right so first of all, distance, okay, the distance that a person or object moves is the actual length of the path that the person or object travels, okay? For example, if I walk five meters to the left, I have traveled a distance of five meters, okay? If a person moves along a straight line from A to B to C, or from A to B and then changes direction and moves to C, all right, let's have a look at the total distance. All right, the total distance in both cases is AB plus BC, all right? So three plus five, all right, is eight meters. Distance, therefore, is a scalar quantity, all right? And its direction is not indicated when we do distance, okay? Even though I just said I went five meters to the left, all right, I put a direction on that, okay? But my distance was not five meters to the left, all right? My distance was five meters. Okay, I hope that is clear for everyone. Right, now we're gonna move on to the definition for displacement. Now, displacement of an object is its change in position. It is the shortest straight line distance between its initial and final position in a specific direction, okay? So displacement is a vector quantity and direction has to be indicated. All right, so we have to consider, uh, there's like a number line showcased below of A and B, starting from negative three, which goes all the way to three. Position A is at negative one and position B is at three. Let's look at the follow-on or continued example. So, xi is our initial position, okay? So, here we have our initial position here, right? That's our initial position. So, where did we start? All right, where did we start first? Where did... Well, where, let's say, where did we begin? Okay, where did we begin? We had to begin at some point, all right? Then now, XF is our final position. All right, it's our final position. Well, let's put our dot on our I there. Okay, in other words, where did we stop or where do we end up okay that is xf all right so we use x all right very important to note we use the letter or variable x for horizontal displacement and y for the vertical displacement okay and then because displacement of an object is the change okay we don't change in physics with a Greek variable known as delta, all right? So delta x, all right, is the change, all right, in a person or objects horizontal, Ooh, I like that, horizontal position. Okay, now, there we go, delta y, okay, is the change in a person or objects, okay, vertical position. That is the only difference. Okay. So now back to the this uh, the example. Okay, as I mentioned, position A, all right, was at negative one, and position B was at three. 
So the displacement of an object from A to B is delta x equals final position minus initial position. All right, so our final position at B was three minus our initial position, which was negative one. All right, and we get a final answer of four units to the right. All right, that's a very easy example. We can see that. Can we count four? Oh, let's see. Well, we have, hmm, let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three, four. All right, so we have four units to the right from A to B.